Bone is dynamic. The remodeling process continuously breaks down bone in order to release stored minerals, such as calcium. Minerals absorbed in digestion are then used to rebuild bone. 99% of the body's calcium is stored in the skeleton. Remodeling is regulated by two needs. The first is to maintain calcium ion levels in the blood. The second need that remodeling responds to is bone growth and adaptation to physical stresses. Hormones play an important role in the regulation of blood calcium levels and bone growth. Hormones, calcium absorption and excretion all help regulate remodeling and growth. Bone growth requires vitamins, minerals and hormones. Dietary vitamins enter the bloodstream via the digestive tract. Vitamin C, along with vitamins K and B12, is needed for the synthesis of collagen. Vitamin A stimulates osteoblasts, the bone building cells. Vitamin D is needed to form calcitriol, a hormone that increases calcium concentration in the blood. Several hormones influence the activity of bone and cartilage cells. Insulin-like growth factors produced by bone tissue, muscles, and liver promote cell division at the epiphyseal plate and enhance synthesis of proteins needed to build new bone. Human growth hormone produced by the pituitary gland stimulates IGF production. Sex hormones produced by the gonads, thyroid hormones, and insulin also regulate bone growth. During childhood and adolescence, bone growth occurs in spurts. These spurts are caused by the interactions of several hormones, some excitatory, others inhibitory. Insulin-like growth factors, or IGFs, are the most influential hormones during childhood bone growth. Production of IGFs, occurring mainly in the liver, is stimulated by human growth hormone. The IGFs travel from the liver to the site of bone growth. Insulin-like growth factors stimulate the formation of cartilage matrix and protein synthesis during bone growth. High levels of growth hormone increase blood glucose levels, which in turn stimulate the production of somatostatin. High blood glucose stimulates the production of somatostatin in the hypothalamus. Somatostatin inhibits the pituitary gland's secretion of growth hormone. In fact, it is also known as growth hormone inhibiting hormone, or GHIH. Decreased secretion of growth hormone lowers the liver's output of IGFs, slowing bone growth. Bone growth continues when the pituitary gland steps up secretion of GH. In young adulthood, bone growth typically slows down significantly. Long bones stop growing altogether. Sex hormones, most active during puberty, cause a decrease in the activity of chondroblasts, but an increase in the proliferation and activity of osteoblasts. As puberty ends, increased ossification at the epiphyseal plate eventually results in the sealing of the epiphysis.